I imagine Jimmy Rollins of the world champion Phillies wasn't the only kid growing up idolizing the game's best leadoff hitter of all time. Statistics aside, Henderson was also one of the game's biggest showmen. Take a look now as Jimmy joined Harold, Barry, and Al in the dugout at Studio 42 sharing memories of the newest Hall of Famer. The crown achievement of any ball player's career is going into the Hall of Fame. I'll stand up, outside of just sitting in the dugout talking trash. This, it's a good time. Nobody talked more trash than Ricky Henderson, though. When he came to your teams, what was it like? Well, I got a chance to play with him when I first got to the biggest with the Yankees and Toronto and the Mets. And, and you talk about a guy that has fun and really enjoyed the sport. And long before Manny being Manny, Ricky was being Ricky. I, I think <laughs> what a joy and really a guy who knew how to have a good time. Well, Lark, when he'd get to second base and I was in Seattle, he'd be like, Ricky getting ready to go, Reynolds, you can't stop him, Reynolds. You ever have any stories when you got the second when oh, you were playing against him? Oh, tremendous amount of stories, but I tell you, before the game, Ricky would always hold court out behind second base. He had both teams out there talking about what Ricky was going to do during the game. <laughs> then comes the game. We were playing in Cincinnati one time. Ricky hits a double and calls me over to, to second base, and I go, what's up, Rick? He's like, Lark. Keep your eye on the, on the highlights. Ricky about to get hot. So, <laughs> Ricky told you before the game what was going to happen. And then he would do it during the game, and he'd tell you he was going to get another hit. The guy was unbelievable. Yeah, he was awesome. Well, you grew up in Oakland. You got a chance to watch him. Was he one of your heroes? Uh, Ricky was my favorite player, you know, hands down all time. Just the way he went out there, the flash, the pizzazz, the flair, the entertainment package. He wasn't just a ball player. He was an entertainner. Well, if and you were like us, that. I'm sure you imitated him growing up. You, can you give us a little flavor? I got Ricky. See, y'all know Ricky, but I know Ricky. <laughs> you feel Ricky. I, I feel <laughs> Ricky. Feel I, Ricky. I, what you got? Let's see it. Hold on. We got the plate out there. Let's yeah, see Ricky. Let's see what you Ricky. got. <laughs> now batting number 24, Ricky Henderson. That's how that's pretty good, man. That's how the guy in Oakland used to do. You know, see, then he go, Ricky, if you stand out that box, he, he dig in, kind of look out the pitch a little bit. Just a little bit, a little intimidation factor. Then he dig in and he roll that top hand at you like, you have no chance today. This Ricky, son, this Ricky. <laughs> lean back a little bit, get in that stance, throw it on the shoulder, get the back going. Oh, this a, Ricky like that fat. Rick, Ricky like that. Oh, Ricky got. Oh, that felt. Oh, that felt. Oh, that felt way too good. Hey, y'all. Oh, that felt good. Ricky like that. Ricky. Then he get the first right and he slowed down. He get that little, that little. And he get there. Boom. Sideways. Shoulders turn. And that's Ricky. Well, it doesn't come any better from somebody who grew up watching him play. Congratulations, Ricky, on your induction to the Hall of Fame.